What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and in today's video we're hopping onto that rank ladder showcasing my two favorite Pokemon in this game at the moment. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time to support me as a content creator. But yeah, my two favorite Pokemon at the moment is my OG main, which is Greninja. Love that Pokemon so much. And the newest Pokemon, which is Blastoise. So just been playing these Pokemon a lot and been having tons of fun with them. If you guys also want to catch extra content from me and extra Pokemon Unite content, make sure you head down to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We're streaming multiple days every single a week trying to stream as much as i can so hit that follow button turn on those notifications but yeah i've been using blastoids and grand ninja so much as of recently considering grand ninja used to be like mediocre when he first released into this game and then slowly he started getting more buffs and now he's s tier he's top tier in this game so amazing can play like any position and just dominate battles and blastoids he's the newest pokemon been amazing showcased a couple battles or a couple videos of me using them just showed off the power of him he's so much fun and he's one of the best defenders in the game but guys let's start off today's video get into one of our battles and showcase one of the Pokemon. So guys, we were able to lock in Blastoids for battle number one. Both Blastoids and Greninja are a pain to actually get on your team right now. They're just so hard to get because so many people are locking them. I think I'm going to lock Blastoids. I can actually switch over to Greninja, but I'm liking Blastoids on this squad. So I'm going to stick Blastoids. We're going to be rocking out with him. I got these held items on him with the Focus Band, the Buddy Barrier, and the Score Shield, which I believe are the best ones. Definitely got to level them up a little bit more. I just leveled up on my account. So I got 80 item enhancers. I do have like over 200, so I'm definitely going to use them all my items. Probably after this video, just level them up and make my Pokemon stronger. But this is, ex is exactly what we're rocking. Held items, eject button is going to be our battle item. And we're going to be rocking out in that top path with this Cinderace. And I'm really liking this team. We got two defenders, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad considering they're switched in different lanes. We have me in the top, Snorlax in the bottom lane. And then we both have Gengar in the jungle. And then we both have Lucario probably playing bottom lane. These are very similar teams. Considering Cinderace and uh, Greninja are very similar we both have a Lucario, we both have a Blastoise, we both have a Gengar, and then Slowbro and uh, Snorlax aren't that much of a difference uh, typing of Pokemon. They're both bulky, they're both kind of defensive. So I am really liking this team. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win in battle number one, but yo, dude, Blastoise has been so much fun to play, dude. His ult is amazing. Especially in team battles, you can deal damage to everybody. Not just a little bit of damage, it's a significant amount of damage, because the AoE is so huge. Chances are you're not missing a lot of people. Like, when I use Greninja, I miss a lot of my Unite moves because the AoE damage is very, very small, so you got to be precise with it. But Blastoids, you can legit just send anywhere, and most likely you're hitting people. You're hitting people all day with it, but we're going to start off with our Water Gun. And I think the moveset I'm going to be rocking with uh, for this Pokemon is going to be Hydro Pump and Surf. Just been loving that one considering you can just push back and control the uh, area a lot. It's just been a lot of fun. Let's do this. Let's see if I can double down on these hitting moves. Yes, sir. Get that out of there. And we got Skull Bash ready to rock. We're going to head over to his mid, try to get this core fish. Hopefully, my water gun could be there by now. I can actually do this and just push him back into our side and just uh, tee off on these wild enemies all day. And then Skull Bash back. Get some HP. Yo, get back, yo. I swear, if you die, Score Bunny. You kidding me, Score Bunny? Score Bunny, you really going to die like that? You really going to die like that? They're going to they're gonna end up scoring points. He's going to push me out of my area. Hey, yo, get out of here. That's mine. Yo, jeez, man. Yo, our Score Bunny dying right off the rip, yo. I don't know what to do. I, <laughs> I'm just getting pushed around here. Come here. Come here. You want some of this? Here's our score bunny. Score bunny's ripping through. See if I can push this guy out a little bit. And I might eject button up on them. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Actually, I need some HP more than anything. Yo, score bunny. If you die again, I swear. I swear, bro. Get back. Yo, <laughs> Yo dude, if that score bunny died again, it would have been so upset. You need. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? There's a kill for me. Is this guy AFK? I hope so. I hope he's AFK. That's big for us. And of course, there are dudes here now. And now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. No, I'm not. Let's see if I can push you back a little bit. Jeez, man. Yo, dude, what is this score bunny doing, bro? Should have this uh this guy. Nope. He had like a potion or something. Did I get him there? Got him. Okay, cool. So actually score bunny got him, which is totally fine by me. If I can actually take out these bees, get some HP or some XP as well. Let's try to keep going here. I got to back a little bit. I do not have a lot of XP or HP here. Yo, dude, score bunny. I swear, yo, if you die again, you're off the team. You're off the team if that's the case. <laughs> like, bro, what are you doing? Um, can I get this uh, A-Pom here? That'd be a lovely little A-Pom. Yo, Score Bunny, what are you doing? Like, is this how you play the game? See if I can take you guys out. Can we take these guys out? There we go. We end up getting a kill there. I am going to unlock Hydro Pump, get back, get my HP. Dude, Score Bunny's just like, I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know what he's doing. Get my Hydro Pump ready to rock. 
take you out with that. Get more HP. And I'm going to go over here and grab level 6. While I'm already level 6, which is lovely. And we're actually going to let that Square Bunny finish that one off. Square Bunny, take that. Take that all day. I'm going to go get my HP up. Jeez, man. Yo, dude, this guy, this guy died like three times right off the rip. I don't know what he was doing, but I'm just trying to get my HP back. Gonna rock out for that. And a lot of people said you should rock Shell Bell on a on a blast switch if you're using like Water Spout. People actually really, really like it. Of course, I missed that. That's rough news. That is rough news for me. Definitely gotta watch out for that Gengar. Gengar is so scary. He comes out the jungle and Skull Bash back a little bit and just push all y'all back. Get back, baby. Get back. Get back. And here comes him, and I'm going to dip back here, and I'm dead, aren't I? Nope. Oh, man. You're so close, dude. I told you. I just said I said I got to watch out for that Gengar. But we're getting steamrolled in this top area, which is so rough. Which is actually really rough, considering I play him pretty well. And our score bunnies just running around, getting destroyed right off the rip. So they destroy our top lane. But I'm going to get rolling here. Just take out these Aldinos to get all these levels. It would be lovely. It should be lovely, because I think next level, do I unlock my next move? I might. I might unlock my next move next level. Yep. There it is. We got Surf. So now, we can do this. And push everybody back. Our Gengar is getting a kill, which is awesome. Which is dope, which is lovely. I just pump there, get the KO there, and keep rolling up here. But that's the best part about when you uh, take out what's called. I know Dreadnought did spawn, and I, I figured our team would get him, which was awesome. Good work, team. But uh, the best part about getting uh, or losing a lane is they help you out by giving you all Dinos right then and there. So it helps you get your levels back up and roll from there. So that's why I'm just chilling here, taking out all these guys. I'm just going to go here, take out all everything here, and the Hydro Pump there, finish you, and we're going to roll out here. We already got Blast Switch, we're rolling out strong. Uh, they do have a Pokemon over here, because they do have Rotom. I can actually just, like, I'm just going to surf on you. Get back, baby, and I'm going to push you back that way. I'm going to get Teen off on you. I do have my Unite move if I want to send it. But right now, I'm just kind of waiting for my Surf. Push you back again. I'm going to just surf into you. Get back, baby. Where did this dude go? There he is. I have my surf. I almost have my surf again. There's our squad. There we go. Push them all back. They can take out our tower with that Rotom, considering there's nobody there. So I'm totally cool with it. And I can just level up with all this XP here. Push you back. And can I get him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get all that XP. So it's a decently close game. I do have to go start scoring some points, considering I do have my score shield. Oh, my lord. Did not mean to do this. Let's step out of here. Hop out this way. And I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get away from me. See if they'll curl this way. Yeah, yo. You're still a little, you're still a little war turtle. Get back, baby. Where you at? I, can I make it through there? No, I didn't I didn't edge it right. I didn't edge it right. It's all good. It's all good. We have no points right now, but yo, I'm totally fine with just uh, controlling this tower. I might go up there and sneak points after that I kill this Aldino. Let's just go here. Control our tower. Get some HP. Come here, boy. Come here. Get that Hydro Pump going, and let's roll up. Let's roll up. I'm going to go I'm gonna go try to score my 40 points. I'm going to go try to score my 40 points. I do have my score shield. Uh, Lucario's dominating down there. I think our Gengar's about to get a kill, too. Oh, yo. Look at them go. Look at them go. I'll control this lane by myself. Actually, I'll just take this whole lane out by myself. Give me this. Got my score shield going. Got 40 points rocking out here. They ain't covering it. See you later. See you later, tower. See you later, tower. I might go uh, try to sneak down there. Give him some health. And in the meantime, I will take you out. There's Dreadnought. So, I am actually just going to start going down there. And, yo, they should have this in the bag. I might not even go for it. Let me check my camera. Let me check my camera. Yeah, it's light work. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna defend with them. I'm not even gonna help them out. Cause by the time I get down there, Dreadnought's gonna die. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna farm and keep controlling this top lane. There's that KO Gengar, dude. Gengar's teen off here. Just surf up there. There's the KO onto the Dreadnought. And, you know, our team's just thriving really, really well. I haven't been able or haven't been needed to uh, help out onto the Dreadnought, which is fine. Which is totally fine. I I don't mind doing that. Cause with them doing Dreadnought and me chilling up here, I'm. Getting an XP from up here, controlling that so the other team won't get it. And we're just rolling out strong. We're rolling out strong. The Sin Race was doing awful in the beginning. I was having to hold his back up while uh, all that was going down. But it actually worked out pretty well. And yo, what are you doing? You son of a biscuit. Get back, baby. Get back. You stay under that lane. You stay under that lane. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? That's my question. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you lucky. Can I kill you? I can push you back again. Put you under my tower. Yeah. Yeah. Now my boys are here. Now my boys are here getting after it. Yo, look at that control. That control with Blastoids is just insanely strong, dude. It is just absurdly strong, dude. Loving it. I'm loving it, dude. Control a Gengar by ourselves. And he uses Unite move. And now we have their team coming up here with Rotom. I'm ready for it. I'm just, again, just farming XP, trying to get my levels up. I like to be level 12 or 13 when heading into Zapdos. And looks like we're going to be able to get 13, which is great. Which is great. 
Especially as a top laner. Level 13 as a top laner, that's a really, really good. And in jungler, you should be like 13, 14 easily. Easily. So, are they coming up here? Yeah, yo. Oh, yo. What you want, fool? I'm surfing to you. Come here. Let me hop over. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Let me just hide your pump onto you. Yo, what are you doing? You're dead. You're dead. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm gonna hop over to this mid lane real quick. And I think we just try to get Dreadnought real quick. Actually, do we? I think I just defend right now. I think I just defend. Get an XP. I'm cool with it. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get Dreadnought in 21 seconds. Unless our whole team is up there. It's actually less than that. It's like 11 seconds. 10 seconds, maybe. But for now, I'm chilling here. Got my Surf. I haven't popped my Unite move yet. I have not popped my Unite move yet. I'm going to just Surf into you. Let's go, buddy. Dip out to the side. The best is you can jump after you Surf. Like, you just pivot out of any bad situation. Dude, get back, man. Get back, yo. We got a huge league going on here. You're going to Surf into me? You crazy. Here's my... Here's you. I'm going to Surf up to you now. Now you want to play games with me. Now you want to play games with me, don't you? If I can just hit you with this. There you go. Get out of my face. Now I'm going to actually pop my Unite move. I have my Buddy Barrier. Perfect time to pop that Unite move. And just surf up on everybody, I think. Push a lot of you guys back. And then keep you guys back that way. Cool, cool, cool. Eject button back here. And I might die, which I did die, which is totally fine. But I think our teammates should be totally fine here. I think we should be fine. Where is my team here? Team should be able to rip up on you. We have a full health snorlax actually coming in there. And I should be back in time. Lucario is picking up a double kill. Gotta love it, yo. Gotta love the Lucario picking up a double kill. But, yo, that was a great Unite move for me. Had multiple people in there. Did a lot of damage. Did not end up picking up any KOs. But still, we were rolling strong. We were rolling strong. But main focus here is going to be Zapdos. As long as we just control him and not even take him out, we will win this battle. So, let's roll up here. I might, I might actually have 50%. So, I might be able to get another Unite move before, uh, before everything ends out here. I do have Surf. I can control really, really well here. Let's push all you guys back. And I'm going to just Surf up on you guys. Pivot out to this Lucario. Try to get some damage up on, onto him. Dude, Cinerace is teeing off with a triple kill. I'll keep pushing you back. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Yeah, I'll keep you over here. Oh, you lucky. You lucky you pivot like that. All right, back to Zapdos. Like I said, all we got to do is control this Zapdos. I don't even think we're going to kill it. I think we're just going to play time here. He's at full health. I'm going to surf and surf push all. Hey, 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 yo, 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 yo. I need a little bit of help here. I surf out. There we go. We can surf out there. Their Blast always uses his Unite move. I think I'm just eject button back here. Just wait for my moves. Yo, chill on me, Blastoise. Let me under tower. Let me under tower. Push you back. Ah, man. What's Zapdos at? We're totally fine. Zapdos is not going to go down here. And we just scored points. This guy's going to come in here, score 40 points. That's not a big deal. And as long as... That's, that's, that one's a little scary. That one's a little scary. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, sir. Control that. Control that, Snorlax. Control that, Snorlax. All day, baby. All day, Snorlax. Let him get no points. That's going to be GG for us. First battle in the bag. 492 to 199. Actually, they could have scored those points. We would have still won. But, yo, great battle from us and our whole team. We were playing Blastoise really well. Controlling lanes. Not dying too much. And winning the battle, more importantly. But look at that. 3 and 6. That Gengar with the carry, though. That Gengar played great. That is exactly how you should play the jungle. 274 points for him. 11 kills, 4 assists. But, hey, we were defending. We got 3 kills. We got 6 assists. But, more importantly, defended the lanes and helped the team win the battle. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, it has been such a pain to actually lock in Grand Ninja for ranked battles. Everybody wants to use him right now because he is so good. He's probably one of the best Pokemon in this game right now. He's S tier. He's just amazing. He's probably the best jungler in the game, in my opinion, at the moment. So we're going to be locking in Central Area, trying to lock it down with him. These are the items that we're using. We're using the Muscle Band for him, the Focus Band, and the Buddy Barrier. I feel like the Focus Band and Buddy Barrier really go with any single Pokemon. But the Muscle Band we swapped out for a Score and Shield, considering we're using Grand Ninja this time instead of Blastoid. So we're able to actually lock down Central Area. Team's looking pretty solid with Blastoise in the top, Cinderace in the uh, top with him, and then we got Wigglytuff and Lu Lucario playing that bot, but we actually swapped the Ninetales, which I dig, I dig it a lot, I like it a lot, yo, let's run it, yo, I haven't really played Grand Ninja as of recently, but he has been like one of the most played Pokemon I have been playing, because considering I haven't really been, uh, been playing as much Pokemon Unite as I normally do, but when I'm online, I'm playing uh, Grand Ninja and Blastoise, like I said in the beginning of the video. These are my two favorite. I've been using them the most, and Grand Ninja I've been using since day one. Like, ever since this game came out, when he was, like, mediocre, when he was, like, an average Pokemon, I was still loving him. Loved to use Water Shrekken, and now that it has the buff, it's just so much better. It is just so much better all around. But, yo, the first battle with Blastoise, I thought we played pretty solid. Hopefully, we can piggyback off that. Get into this battle and play just as well with Grand Ninja here in that jungle. Because once this guy gets boosted, he's really, really strong. But their team's looking good, too. I feel like Venusaur, they do have Venusaur, is very underrated. I feel like that's a very strong Pokemon, in my opinion. It's very strong. If you can hit his attacks, like Solar Beam and all that, it does a massive amount of damage, which is just crazy. 
But your boy's froaky right now, so I'm just gonna run over here. I'm gonna just eject button over here, and I'm gonna get rolling here. Unlock my bubble. Use my bubble, slow him down a little bit, and get this little pup out my face. Get him out my face. Now we're gonna start teeing off on this Ludi Cola right here. Come on, where's that Ludi Cola at? There he is. There he is. And I'm with a little bit of bubble action. Gonna start clawing up on me. That's totally fine. Let's use that. And I should be fine just by taking him out like that, and then just using my substitute to get a little bit of a dash over to this Poofalant. Shooting him with that, and then dodging his little attack move right here. Oh, we thriving. Oh, we thriving, thriving. We thriving, thriving here. Get you out of my face. Get you out of my face. Let's go get this core fish. Go get this core fish. They're having a little little tussle in those top and bot lanes real early on. Hopefully our team comes out on top and get rolling with that. I'm going to take out these core fish. Start moving ahead with like this. And then go up here and get ourselves this core fish here. Once I get this core fish, I'll be a frogadier and I can go help out that top lane. Did our what's called go down? Oh no, our Snorlax and our what's called went down? Oh, their jungler came in early. He came in early. I'm going to go over here and see if I can pick up some KOs here. There we go. Oh, can I get him? Can I get him? No, I couldn't get him. I was so close. If I had my eject button from earlier, I, I would have been able to get him. But in the meantime, we can kill some bees right here. Kill some bees here. Let me actually double team up on this thing. Start dealing some damage all around here. Use my bubble. I have my eject button ready. I think I should be fine here. Might go grab something. Hmm. Let's double team up. See if I can actually... I was going to go for that Snorlax, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm low on HP. I got to actually dip back a little bit. I'll take it to Scorefish. I'm just going to roll into this uh, bot lane here. Look we'll at my HP. Wigglytuff is able to pick up a KO here. And I'm legit just going to farm right now. I'm just going to farm. Just going to farm. Get my levels up. Get my HP back up. We should be fine. We should be able to hit level 6 here. And then by taking out this... uh, Oh, we didn't hit level 6. Yo, Squirtle. 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 What are you doing? This is mine. This is mine, yo. Leave it alone. Mind, don't you dare let, let me let me get the kill for that. You lucky, you lucky. Get out of here, dude. Go get your own stuff. Go defend your own lane. I'll come in and clutch this battle up for us. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll do this for us. Take out you. Let's get rid of you. We can head over to this thing and be able to get Grand Ninja from this core fish, which is lovely. Grand Ninja, baby. Got my Grand Ninja. I definitely gotta go help out that top lane. I feel like that bot lane's holding their own. I feel like their Grand Ninja really isn't uh really isn't doing their jungle. I might sneak in there and take his jungle stuff, but we should be fine. Oh, yo, what's good, dog? Get back here. Can I dip back here? Can I dip back? We dip under here. Throw this. Get some HP back from that. And we were able to kill that thing. And I'm going to roll up on the you. What you want, fool? I see you. I see you, Ivysaur. Let me rip up on you. Yo, look at the damage. The damage output is insane. Let's see if I can kill you. I'm going to actually dip back a little bit. Yo, can you guys come up there? That's an easy kill if we uh, step up here. They got this A-Palm here. I wish I had Score Shield. Score Shield would be awesome, yo. But we rip, yo. You see how much damage we did? Yeah, you know, this thing better get back. Hopefully he comes under tower here. I can kill him. But in the meantime, actually, let's just step through here. Do this. Deal some nice damage. And we have him spawning. This is Rotom spawning. We see you really tough. I'm just going to tee off on you a little bit. And he's doing some nice damage on me. Hit that back with my double team. Hit you with this. Get some HP back. And now I'm going to push up on you. Now I'm going to push up on you. What you want, fool? What you want, fool? Yo, look how strong I am. I'm just so strong. Greninja is just so strong, but I'm waiting for my bot lane guys to come here. They're going to go get Dreadnought, and I'm going to head over there now, too. They're definitely going to need me. I'm a jungler. They're definitely going to need, need me. I could go score my points, which I really, really want to, and I'm lagging. Oh, my lord. You guys see that lag? That lag was absurd. I actually might count on them to do that. Now, I'm going to make sure we actually get Dreadnought here. Lock it down. Lock it down. I'm coming, boys. I'm coming, boys. Let's get this thing out the way. Nine Tails, help us hit this, yo. Like, freezer or something. We should be able to get this thing easily. Right here, they are going to take a lot of time to get some points off, but more importantly, we get these levels here. Thank you very much. And I'm going to go score my 30. I'm going to go score my 30. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. Bang, take out that tower. I'm just going to push up on you. Should be able to pick up a KO here. Get mad here. Beautiful. Really tough. If you want to push up and actually get this kill, it'd be huge. Or not this kill, you can actually score. And I'm going to take their jungle enemies and just keep farming my XP and try to get, uh, try to get beefed up here. I'm going to head back to my jungle area after this. Oh, this guy's shooting me. Really? Really? Come on, man. Really, man? Really, man? Let me just dip out here. Let me just dip out here. You're not going to kill me. You're not killing me. I'm just letting you know that now. I'm just letting you know that now. Let me go back to base real quick. I'm going to go back to base. Our Blastoids is controlling that lane pretty well. And in the meantime, I think I should just be fine going into here and taking out my farmable enemies again. Yeah, rolling with my boy. You guys see how hard this Pokemon hits. It's ridiculous how hard he hits. Look how quick we can take out core fishes. He's so good for farming, too. Absurd. It's absurd. I mean, now we have it plus, which means we uh we get that move a lot quicker now. 
It's a close battle, but I think I think we can uh, actually end up winning this game. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna head over to this bot lane. I see them pushing up on them. Actually, I might go head over to that top lane, try to take that top tower, and pinch this Grand Ninja as he's coming into this jungle area. Where's he at? Oh, he, he slid right past me, you buttery biscuit. I could ult, which I might actually do. Which I, I am gonna do. I'll just relax. I get KOs on these guys. They off on all these guys, and oh, he ulted on me, yo. Where's my team at? Shoot, we should get both of them easily. That Grand Ninja should be dead. That Grand Ninja should be dead. It's all good. Did I get a kill there or an assist? Anything? Doing pretty well. I feel like I'm doing pretty well, not like dominating the battle but I, I feel like i'm doing it well as a jungler farming up all the xp that i can but i really want to go try to take out this top lane actually uh general is going to spawn so i'm going to actually head over there i'm going to head all the way around try to get that general because if we can secure a second general for this battle that's huge xp for us that's huge xp your boy's coming don't worry yo gene's coming yo, i love how he moves yo, those long strides it's those long strides yo get back buddy get back man i might oh yo, i'm taking some mean damage here Oh, dang. Oh, dang, dude. Dang. God dang. I'm dying under tower so easily. Dying under tower so easily. I'm trying to look at the levels here. Our levels is, is way beefier than them. And we got Dreadnought again, yo, dude. That's pretty much going to be GG's. Our Blastoid's doing some work. Blastoid's doing work. In the meantime, yo, I'm just going to farm. Like, I play to win. I really do not play for kills at all. I just think it's such a way better way to play. So instead of going up there getting kills, I'm just going to sit back here and get all these farmable enemies. Let's see. Oh, I wasted my eject button. I want to use my double team. I want to use my double team, but it's all good. We'll get level 13 here. We have double team plus. And like I said, I've been wanting to take out this tower this whole time. So after I take out these guys, I'm totally just going to go take out this tower. I'll have a lot more Pokeballs to actually finish that one off. But look at that. Yo, look how quick we can take out like all these bees and stuff. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. That's why I love Grand Ninja. It's great all around. We can just do this. And while we are moving, we can actually take out this Kakor fish right here. And yo, what you want, fool? I'm going to take you out. Let's take you out. Let's get you out, out of here. I'm going to actually double team here. And just throw these. Got to make sure I land a lot of these. There we go. There's kill there. And I can, now I can finish off this tower. Beautiful. Lovely. Bink. Bink. See you later, tower. Get out of my face. I'm going to go in here, take out their core fish, and then head back to that central area. And probably go help them out in that bot, yo. We're having... We're getting, we're getting a little feisty down there. We're getting a little feisty down there. Gene's coming. Gene's coming. Zapdos does spawn soon, so maybe I can pick up some KOs here. Actually, let's get level 14 before we actually roll over there. There's level 14. Gotta love it. I'm coming, boys. I have my alt ready to rock, too. My alt ready to rock as well. Can I steal a kill from you? I did the back here. Yes, the back. Get some HP. Lovely little HP for my boy. And have them dip back as well. I just gotta play distance with Grand Ninja. You grab my HP. And I'm gonna roll up here. So if I just find, like, a wild enemy or something, I can get my HP back to full. Which is just by hitting him. Oh, yo, I just got took some mean damage. Yo, that thing just ulted. Just ult it. Is there a crawl on here? Yep. Give me my HP. Thank you, crawl on. Thank you, crawl on. I come here and actually just hit this after and just steal some HP from him. And just dodge his move. Beautiful. So they're chilling up in that top lane. I see you up there. I see you up there. Who just ult it? Is that our Blastoids? I think it is our Blastoids. I'm actually just gonna ult in on him. Why they all over there? That's fine. I'll take the I'll take the alt buffs anyway. I'll take the alt buffs anyway. And yo, let's just steal this after. Let's just take out Zapdos real quick. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna tee off on this Zapdos. Do this, yo. Can you guys help me take this thing out? Yo, I had this thing down to half. What are you guys doing? Take this thing out. Take this thing out right now. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Yo, my team was standing around there as I'm teeing off on that. But see how strong Greninja is. I can solo Zapdos. I legit just solo Zapdos there. We're uh we're not keeping up here right now, but. Here's 100 points for squad. Where's my team at? Hopefully Wigglytuff puts in points. Yep, there's 74 for him. I'm going to keep getting points here. I'm going to go try to score, actually. And what's our team doing, yo? I took out Zapdos, and are we really... If, I, if we lose and I got Zapdos, I'm going to be kind of upset with that. If I can get a couple extra points. I think we're going to lose, and I have Zapdos. Let's see if I can put this in there. 21 times 2. Dude, I'm putting up so many points. Get out of my face. Let's do this. Get back here. Get off on you. I should be able to get the kill here. There's a kill for me. And get all those Pokeballs. See if I can actually slide through there. I'm going to sneak these points right here. There's another 20. I'm trying to get as many points as I can. I wonder if we're losing or not. I really am curious to that. I, am, I have high levels here. I'm just going to try to take him out and score some points before we actually go out here. It's fine. Five. 
That's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got you. 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 Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Score. Score. You got score shield. Nope. Did we win? Did we win? I hope we won. 548 to. Yes, sir. Yo, look at yo. I had the solo carry at the end there. All those points added up for me clutching up. God, man, yo, our team, I took out Zapdos by herself, and they were still scoring points on us. Like, yo, just rush it and score some points, yo. 226 points for us. We played that jungle so perfectly with Grand Ninja, though. Look at everybody giving me a thumbs up. Two people giving me a thumbs up. That's what's up. We got four kills, three assists. Weren't that high on the kill board, but hey, that's what a jungler is for. Jungler is for the points. Solely for the points. Kills will come naturally, but hey, I don't really play for kills. Like I said, I play to win, and that's exactly what we did. Great set of battles on that rank ladder using my two favorite Pokemons for Pokemon Unite. We played Blast Switch really well, controlling the battle and helping the team win. And then in that second battle, we used my main OG Grand Ninja, was able to put up a massive amount of points and carry our team to victory. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you press the positive video today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.